A mind reader? Because you don't read. Hi, this is Amar, and today we're reviewing A Raisin in the Sun, a play by Lorraine Hansberry. So what I'm going to try to do this time, I'm going to review the play in the act. Uh, probably I'm going to do act one in a video, and then act two and three in another video, or act one, act two, and then act three, and a uh, general review. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that will go. I don't know if it's going to be on that every video I do, or just this video. When I read this play in college, I really fell in love immediately with it. And as an immigrant who I grew up in Iraq, I had really minimum uh, information about uh, black people and the history of slavery and uh, uh, the, the racism in America and the whole like early 1900, the whole life was. And I'm not saying that this play um, teaches you that but it has a lot of uh, basic information of how life was in the 50s or at least through the eyes of our character. A Raisin in the Sun is a play full of beautiful monologues, great lines, really interesting characters, a kind of history of 1950s and sad and happy stories. I'm gonna do it in acts and today we're doing act one. The play takes place at the Younger's living room, and uh, the author describes the furnitures in the room are picked with hope, love, and even care, but that's long time ago, so now the furnitures look uh, older, uh, don't have that love and care that they had when they were picked long time ago. The play takes uh, place in Chicago's uh, South Side. Uh, it's sometime between uh, World War II and the present. The play was written in 1959, which means the present at that moment was 1959. The play starts with Trevor Younger, who sleeps in the living room. He is the son of Ruth and Walter Younger. Um, he wakes up and he heads to the bathroom and then his mom walks in. Ruth is one of my favorite women characters of all time. Ruth is about 30 years old. She is a beautiful woman and she's described as a settled woman since life shows all the disappointment of life on her face. Uh, she is a hard worker. She works uh, in cleaning people's houses and from the moment she walks in on the stage and we immediately start seeing those hard working women through her. So from Ruth and Walter just these two characters the first couple pages of the of the book we immediately see the life of poor people in the 50s people of color in the 50s how they were struggling and it's simple as the kid is in the bathroom and he needs to get out because his father needs to go in the bathroom that little tiny detail of how stressful and and and, and hard it was for those poor people back in that time then we get walter he is the dad and he is a chauffeur, he works for rich people, he drives their cars, and he has a dream to become a rich man. For the majority of the, or at least the first part of Act 1, Scene 1, we have Ruth and Walter and this whole conversation that uh, describes the relationship in the 50s, uh, how men treat women, how men of color treat women of color, how uh, life was, how... how uh, Men had a different vision of the world than women. And then we have Walter who um, is disconnected from his wife. They love each other, they care about each other, but they're very disconnected. He has his group of friends that he hangs out with, that they understand him. And Ruth has this house that she needs to make sure everything is running. She has a kid that needs to go to school, she has food, she has uh, things that need to be provided to home. She has a job that she still needs to do. She has a mom-in-law and a sister-in-law. She has this whole place that needs to keep running. And she doesn't think the way that Walter thinks. And of course, uh, what's more beautiful than the, the scene between Walter and Ruth when she tells him to eat his egg and he snaps on her, give her this whole speech of how men have a dream that they want to do something and his, their wife tell them, eat your egg your egg is cold you, you need to eat your egg and this is just one of the most beautiful most beautiful uh, uh scenes how sad and funny at the same time 
And through this scene, uh, we understand that there is a check that's coming to their house. The check is coming tomorrow and Walter is trying to manipulate everybody in the home. And they give him the money to open his liquor store. This dream that's going to make all of them rich. And when, when Benita, his sister, walks in, uh, he tries to uh, use uh, her dream so he can do what he wants to do. So she wants to be a doctor, so he tells her, why don't you take some of that money and become a doctor? And, and I will take some of it and I will become uh, this rich man. And that's when we know that this money is coming for their mom. This money is for nobody else. It's their father's insurance money and it's going to their mom. Mama Lena is in her early 60s. She is this very hardworking woman who's still working and still treat uh, her kids equally as children. And she's treated with respect and they all are afraid of her and love her and respect her. So Benita and uh, Mama and uh, Ruth have this conversation that we learned that Benita is very different than this house. Uh, we have Walter that was disconnected from his wife, but he's still his own culture as man. But Benita tries to be different. She, she thinks she is different. She believes that she's different. She is educated. She goes to school. She's starting to be a doctor. Um, she's trying to find a culture because she feels that she doesn't have her own culture and that's what she's trying to educate her mom and her sister-in-law beneath is dating a rich guy george and he is a person of color and she is loved by a sad guy uh, a nigerian refugee who is or, or a student who came from nigeria to study in america and he was visiting canada and coming back and um he is, is a student and he is in love with her but she is in love with the idea of being different than her family being successful woman doesn't want husband doesn't want love right now she, what she cares about is how to be a successful woman scene one ends with uh mama's checking on trevor and then she finds that ruth fainted on the floor and that's what the scene ends with scene two starts with the family cleaning the house trying to get of the cockroaches and all the ants the spiders and it's really really fun scene to read and it's again another window to show us the life in the 50s and how people struggled with these kind of things and it's day-to-day -day life problems ruth comes back from the doctor and she tells them that she's pregnant and Benita tells her mom that Asa guy is coming to visit them and how she is very embarrassed that her mom is going to ask ignorant questions and embarrass her. And she hope, she's trying to teach her mom what's Nigeria, what's Africa, what, uh, what's their history as black people and where they came from. And uh, mama has all those questions that um, any person that never been there or never read of uh, would ask. But to Benita, it's very... Uh, these are very ignorant questions, very disrespectful questions. When a guy comes to visit, he brings gifts from Nigeria to Benita. He expresses his love and she doesn't share the same, the same mutual uh, feelings with him. So he leaves the gift and leaves with cute uh, lines uh, that he gives Benita. He doesn't leave sad. He doesn't leave mad at her. He is aware that she is not for him and she is aware that she doesn't want love right now. Then the check arrives, $10,000 gets in the mail and everybody is super excited, everybody is cheering and having fun until Walter comes in. He comes in and he um, asks Mama to give him the money to open his liquor store. He has all this math uh, of how much he needs, how much they will make, and then Mama refuses and he gets angry, says horrible lines. And then mama says this line that made me stop the first time i read it and this time when i read it it made me stop and i'm like wow she says it's dangerous son when a man goes outside his home to look for peace whoa <laughs> and it's 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 what beautiful about it is today this line applies on our life back in the 50s this line was important before that it's how dangerous when a man leaves his house to look for peace outside this is this is the beginning of the ending of the relationship is what this line to me means mama tells walter after that that 
Um, he is not the man that he should be. His wife is pregnant. She's going to get rid of the baby. Um, he doesn't realize that it's serious until Ruth tells him that as well. And Mama gives him this huge uh, 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 lines or, or at least monologues of how much uh, she wishes that her father, her husband was there and how Walter is not the man that his father wanted him to be. And she ends it with that sad lines to Walter. And then that's when Act 1 ends. So, so far in Act 1, we have Ruth who is a woman that she has one goal in her life is to make sure that her family is fed and healthy. We have Benita, who her goal is to be a doctor, to be successful, to be a woman different than her culture. We got Walter, who has a one dream, is to uh, be rich and be uh, more comfortable and have money. We have Mama, who is trying to make sure that this family is all together under his eyes. And we have Trevor, a little kid who is just trying to live his life. We have a Sagai, who is uh, a refugee who, or, or, or a, a foreigner than this world and he who presents something different than everybody else and we have George who we haven't met yet um, who we can learn more about him in the next act so that's each character and none of them is a villain none of them is a bad or at least so far everybody has a dream has a goal even though um, they might be rude to each other they might not uh, uh agree on the same goals or the same uh passions but at this at, at the same time they're not bad people they don't hate each other they don't want the bad to each other they just have their own dream and they're sad and tired of the life that they live in so this is act one and uh, we'll do another video to finish the play let me know what you think and if you ever read this play if not give it a try read first act watch this video let me know what you think. If there's any other videos you want me to, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.